welcome everybody to the last day of our yoga challenge. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Today we're going to finish off um, with a nice flow, incorporating all the poses that we've done over the past week. But before we do, we'll take a couple of, more than a couple of seconds, to just return back to the breath, notice how we're feeling. And let's start to close our eyes, sitting up nice and tall in a comfortable seated position and start to regain awareness back to your breathing. In through the nose, and back out through the mouth. Let's place the hand to the heart center, and the other hand to the belly, so you can see if your abdominal breathing, as you inhale the belly opens and rises, as you exhale the belly softens. So repeat this as many times as you would like to today. Take a big inhale with the right arm. If you can, see if you can come onto the forearm, uh, forearm for your side bend. Big breath in here. Exhale. If not, just come to the hand and reach over. And then let's circle the hips. Let's walk the hands forward. Lower the head. Sweep the hands behind you, bend the knees, rock the knees from side to side. And this time, we're gonna drop the knees all over to the left hand side. Sit up nice and tall. Take an inhale, plant the left hand to the floor. Open up with the right arm. Exhale back. Repeat this about five times. And repeat on the other side. Inhale, lift. Exhale back. Okay, coming into our puppy pose, travel the knees back towards the back of the mat, soften the feet down, walk the hands forward, lower the forehead, melt your heart. And then come onto the forearms, lower the belly down, take your baby cobra, inhale here, exhale down. Inhale, reach and lift the hands up. Take a big breath as you come up. Exhale down. You can repeat this two or three times or up to 10 times. Pushing up to your downward facing dog or your pu puppy pose, whatever you prefer. Bending the knees, really straightening out the arms. Take an inhale, reach the right leg up into the air. We're going to transfer that foot through to take your warrior two. So heels parallel, hips to the side, bend into that right knee, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, straighten that right knee. We're going to come into Trikonasana, triangle pose. Keep that right arm lifted. L, shoulder in line with wrist. And then tip down like a teapot. Place your hand just under the knee, or whatever feels comfortable. You can lower down if you want and gaze up. Or to the floor if you find it hard to balance. Bend the right knee. Take warrior two. Turn the right foot forward. Inhale, five point star. Exhale, goddess pose. Send those sit bones all the way down. Open out the shoulders. Hands nice and strong. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. Extend the hands forward. Lower the forehead down. Turn now the left foot forward. Bend the left knee, coming into your warrior two. Reverse it. Side angle, Trikonasana triangle, straighten the left leg, teapot down, right arm lifts, open the chest, gaze up or down to the floor, warrior two, turn that left foot through, five point star, inhale here, exhale goddess, inhale five point star, Right foot point, points forward, lower the hands down, step back down with facing dog. And then drop to the knees, 
take one last cobra. Lower the chest down and then soften. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale back. Inhale, child. So that's a little short, sweet flow for you to finish off our seven day yoga challenge alongside Adele with her nutrition. I hope we've been of some use to you. It certainly helped me this week. And if you'd like to dig deeper into what I do and into the meditation and my yoga flows, you can join me online on Wednesdays um, with my YouTube classes. So I'd like to say a huge thank you. Keep practicing and just send any comments, any queries, any questions, I'm here to help. Namaste.